Hi everyone, this is Amber again. This is my, as I talked about pre in my previous video, my introduction video. I don't know how to do the weird thing where they put the the link in the video, but I will try to learn. But yes, yeah, so my introduction video. I you mentioned that I would this would be my first actual physical makeup video. It is simple. It is easy. It is lightweight. It's it's my favorite look for you know works. I, I presume we're at school to work, but if you were to school, no problems. Um, it's a brown natural, but so slightly smoky. It's very nice, very 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 nice. Uh, and there's a little bit of lip color. I will be showing you all the products, and I and I will link I will link them all where you can find them in the description box. If I can't find where you can get them, and you can tell me, that'd be awesome because one of these, actually a couple of these I bought in a different country. Um, but anyways. Um, yeah, so I have no makeup on right now. Sorry, HD. Sorry about that. I do use Pons. Sorry, a little shiny. Pons ref Morning Refresh. And it's with citrus and cucumber. It's awesome. I wear, um, I will review that much later. Let's get to it. I don't want this to be too super long. So we're going to start off with our foundation. I have been loving this foundation. Essence Soft Touch Mousse Makeup. I'm in Matte Irie, which is four. Which way is the camera? There you go. Can you see it? I actually bought this in a different country when I went to Germany. So I'm going to try super hard to find it for you guys. Anyways, so take a regular foundation sponge. I love sponges. Um, we'll start off on the middle. I kind of just put it everywhere. Yeah, forgive me. I'm not really using a um. I'm not really using a mirror. I'm just kind of going off my camera, which looks funny. Um, this foundation is a little light for me. Just just a very little bit, but I even this out with a um with when I set the powder, you'll see how I even it out. Sorry for making funny faces. I really try not to, but it's kind of difficult, you know. Let's use my mirror here. Check it out. Hi, still see you. Um yeah. This um foundation is a Ooh, light to medium. You can always build it up. It's definitely buildable, so you can absolutely build it up to make it a. There we go. Yeah, you can absolutely build this up to make it a full coverage foundation. But I don't really need it. I mean, I'm, my skin's nowhere near perfect, but a medium coverage suits me better. So, and then what I do is I take to not only set it, but to even out the really, really. It's about, I guess, one shade too light for me. So to even it out, I take my e.l.f. Clarifying Pressed Powder. And this one is in light beige, which, you know, this is light ivory. So this is about, about right, my right shade. Take my e.l.f. Powder Brush. Favorite brush of all time. Right here. It's a flat top super soft very very dense you can actually use this for foundation liquid foundation and stuff but I use it for what for just the powder it's just simpler so get that all over there tap off the excess get it all over the face buff it in there we go there we go Sitting on my legs, not super comfy. There. <laughs> Sorry. Um now we're going to start with guys. Which will we be using this elf primer? This again is in sheer. Just a primer. So take it. Put it all over there. Kind of get it all in there. You want to make sure you get it in the corner and under. All 
way up to the brown balloon because you will have stuff on your brow. There we go. Now, I'm going to take this palette from Elf. I got it off of eyeslipspace.com, which I will be putting in the description box because all my Elf products I got from there. Um, we're going to take this, where is it, there we go, this, wrong way, brush, it's just a shadow brush, it's actually my favorite, it's Ego Tools, got it, Walgreens, and we're going to take, if I can find the correct palette, I'm sorry, first one, please forgive me, <laughs> going to take this palette, Skin, eyeslipface.com, but it's just got more vibrant, brighter colors. I can't ever find where this thing goes. See, there's a blue and stuff. I, we'll go into again later. I'm going to take this kind of taupey, shimmery color right here. It's, I don't know if you see that super well, but it's very pretty, very shimmery taupe. And we're just going to apply as a wash all over the lid. A little bit above it just to kind of help out with that. Okay. And, uh, and then we're going to take... This is very natural, so... And then we're going to take this brush is a eye crease brush again from e.l.f. It's just very, just a very, 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 very fluffy, round kind of brush. Just for the crease. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this color, which I would describe this, this as a more kind of a light, amberish, Kind of almost red brown. We're gonna take that. And we're gonna put it in our crease. You find a crease by gently pushing on your eye. Don't worry if it's if it's you know a little bit weird looking because we're gonna blend it out. So, but right now we're just gonna take that color. And again, find the crease by pushing it. Just gonna take it right about a third of the way. I guess you could say about a third of the way. Got some. On my brow bone. It's not where it's supposed to be. Then we are going to take a e.l.f. blending brush and gently, just just ever so slightly, we're gonna kind of put that a little bit less line, a little bit less thick, and then one straight line and kind of just blend out. And this is just gonna help your eye crease show better, your eyes look bigger, which is a good thing. Um, and now we're going to take, again, the Ego Tool brush, and there's the blush brush. We're going to use this brown. It's a matte brown. The other two colors I used had a little bit of shimmer in it. This is just a matte brown right here. Sorry, I can't, can't even get this right here. And we're going to take this and get, put a fair amount on it. And we're going to take it, and we are going to pat it on our lids right in the corner. And you don't want to add too much, so you need to do little light kind of pats, just just to build up the intensity and the, the opaqueness of it. You can always add more, but it's really hard to take less off. So, second eye again, just all over in the corner. Let me make sure get it nice and on there. And you know what? Any boo boos? Don't worry about that. We'll fix that later. Now, again, we are going to take the blending brush and just very lightly, with a very light hand, blend out just ever so slight, just to get some smoke going on. Little circle motions, barely want to touch your eye. You don't want to make any kind of indent at all. Don't ever want to pull on your eyelids because, you know, that just makes you them sag sooner and you don't need that. No one needs that. That's just terrible. And this is a... I was getting another... This is a defining eye brush, which... It's kind of... 
put it in front of my face. It's got a weird kind of shape to it. I use it for my brow bone. I, I don't see the point in using it for anything other than the brow bone. But again, totally your call. Whatever you want to use it for. Put that on. Put a highlighter shade. Sorry. Say exact, I'm, all, I'm using the exact, just the same palette for the whole thing. I'm taking this very, very shimmery color right there. Not too super shimmery. It has more of a silver undertone, which is really nice. Because we're using such neutral colors, you want to have a little bit of pop. And it catches the light really well. So you just put that in there. And gently using the same brush. No need to dirty no one. Gently blend the line. with Because it's already, it should have already been brought down. So we're going to gently blend the line. And that's it. And that's, and now we just curl the eyes. Curl. This is a Revlon. This is my Revlon curler. It has a little spring activation thing. Not really sure why, but it does. And so we're going to take it and we're going to curl our lashes. Couple good pulls. That's good. See? You can see and show you the difference between a curled lash and a non curled lash. There we go. Now, curled, not curled. My eyes look much. My eye looks much bigger on the curled lash, and over here you can see how it just kind of looks droopy. We don't want that, so we take our eyelash curl and curl the other side. Just be really gentle. You want to pull out any eyelashes or anything. This side is always a little difficult for me, so what I do is I push the lashes over towards the corner of my eye just to get them all somewhat even. And see? I don't know if you can see very well, but. And so now we're going to add the mascara. I am using the Definilash. The Definilash. From Maybelline, volumizing from Maybelline. It's it is waterproof. I prefer waterproof. It just holds curl better, and I really never ever have a problem removing it. So, but you know what? Use whatever one you love. And I love this one right now. So we're gonna just gently. I just kind of whisk it out. I don't push too hard, cause I have naturally decently long eyelashes, so I don't. Yeah, you know, it's just don't really need to push or pull them through. Just kind of go like that. You want to make sure you always do your bottom line. It's always a good idea. And now we're going to do the other one. Okay. And that's mascara. You know, I I never not do the bottom lash, just because. It just makes your eyes look so much bigger. It's great. I don't know, my eyes got a little bigger right there. So that's that's just the eyes. And now we're going to move on to the lips. I don't use blush because I don't really need to. Because my face is just naturally super red. So this is really simple. Just going to moisturize my lips. with I use EOS. The green one. I've had this forever. As you can see, it's already flattened. Move that around. Nice and moisturized. Favorite lip balm of right now. Just gonna take this red. It's a kind of pinky red. I'll do a little swatch for you. That is it with just one swipe. It's very sheer, very buildable. Etc. Like four. It's very, very, very sheer, which is good. I just put two over. Just now, I don't like. I I like this lipstick. I do. It's just the hue is a little. It's a little pink for me. So I take this mo mineral moisturizing lip balm, lip tint, uh, from Elf. It's in a natural, and I just go over it, and it. 
Hmm, sorry. It helps diffuse the redness and bring more natural tint to my lips, and I like that. It also has SPF 8 in it, which is good. You always want a little SPF. Um, and that's it. That's the look. It's really simple, you know, really clean. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day. Bye.